Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I will show you how to create this cool Adidas Slides animation without any plugins. Also in this video there will be no Adobe After Effects part. I just use the hue slash saturation and glow effect. Then let's get started Arties. For the tutorial we need a logo as spline. For this we first open Adobe Illustrator in the format 1080 by 1080 pixel. There we insert a picture of the logo. Then we press the button image tracer on the top of the screen. When you are satisfied with the result, press the convert button. As you can see, there is still a white area around the logo. Select the whole graphic, press with the right mouse button and choose on grouping. Now you can delete the area. Then select the color black only for the outline, the rest remains without color. Now save the file. In the second window you have to select Illustrator 8 under version. By drag and drop you can now insert the logo into Cinema 4D. Now select all splines and press with the right mouse button on it and select connect plus delete. Now we select Extrude and place the splines under it. Under Offset we select 0.3 cm. Now we go to Caps. There we select Size 0.06. The logo for the inside of the package is ready. Set the coordinates to 0, so that it is in the center of the workspace. Then press with the right mouse button and select Current State Object. Now we come to the foil packaging. Add a cube with the dimensions 200 cm by 200 cm by 40 cm. We set the segments X to 20 and segments Y to 30. So that we can see everything better, we go to basic and we put a check mark at X-ray. When you are done, you can remove the hook. Now we scale the logo to fit. Physics always work better on big objects. Therefore I scaled the logo 50 times. Use the four views to see if nothing of the logo overlaps. Then we press on the icon to make it a current state object. Now the cube is editable. We rename the layers to logo and packing. We now select the logo. Go to Simulation Tags and take Cloth Collider. There we select 2% for Bounce and 95% for Friction. We now select the Packing, go to Simulation Tags and take Cloth. We switch to the Sub-Item tag and select the following values. Stiffness 90%, Flexion 15%, Rubber 10%, Bounce 2%, Friction 95% and size 93%. Then we go to the sub item dresser, there we choose for width 0, 0,5. Now we have to select all surfaces that are on the side. For this we press polygon selection and can select all faces with the selection tool. After that we go to the top bar to select and choose set selection. Under dresser press now on set it seems poly. Now go to the sub item expert and check the box self collision. At point, edge, poly EPS we divide all values by 10. Now we go to the project settings. There we go to the dynamics and then to expert. Under collision margin we select 0, 0,5, steps per frame 15 and for maximum solver interactions per step 25. After that we go back to the cloth tag and press dress o -matic. Ready is the basic building block of the package. Now press set it in its state. 
Now go to basic and remove the hook at enable, so that we can continue to work on the packaging. Select all faces in the package press with the right mouse button and press subdivided. Repeat this once more, so that we will also get falcons later. Now go back to the cloth tag and check the enable box again. Now we search for field force. Under object we drag in the logo. Set strength to minus 100. Now press on the icon and set the radius to 1 cm. Under direction we set length to normalize. Now press on the triangle. Now go to select and then convert selection. We should convert our polygon selection into a point selection, so that the corners are not drawn in. Under the cloth tag under dresser, we now press set for fix points. At forces we set gravity to zero. Now you can press play. In the meantime, I would like to point out that you are welcome to send me your results on Instagram. I will repost all of them. Also, do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a direct message or write it in the comments. I will make a tutorial about it. Then select Smooth from the bar at the top of the page. If you have a suitable cutout from the animation, select here again Current State Object, so that we get the slide. Now we create the sticker on the canvas. Then select a plane and position it where you want it to be. Increase the segments to 100 by 100. Waxes for it to the front view. Make the sticker a current state object. Now search for project object. Go back to the 3D view and as you can see the sticker has adjusted itself. Here you also insert a smooth. Now we come to the materials. Now select sky in the bar above. Double click to create a new material. Drag it to the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose a HDRI sky. Now we come to the material for the logo. Create a new material and draw it on the logo. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new Beckman layer. At specular strength set the value to 5% and roughness to 20%. Now we create the foil material. Switch off the X-ray in the packing dialog. Create a new material with transparency and refulction. Under transparency select pet under refraction preset and 5% under blurriness. At reflectance set a new Beckman layer and set roughness and specular strength to 2%. At the end we make the barcode sticker. For this you set a check mark at color, reflectance and alpha. After that you put a graphic of a barcode in color and alpha. If you now click on the material in the flat window, you can scale and adjust it there. That's it with the materials. At Patreon you can find the complete project file, I link you the account in the caption. Now we come to the animation. First we choose a zero object and put all elements of the animation there. After that we extend the animation to 5 seconds. Set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation by pressing the button with the key icon. Then we move the slider to the end of the animation. Now we use the rotate tool and rotate the logo 360 degrees and set another keyframe. The back side of the logo is mirrored. So I want it to be seen in the animation as short as possible. Move the animation slider until we see the side of the logo. There we set a keyframe and repeat the process for the other side. Now we can move the inner keyframes closer to each other, 
so that the back side rotates faster. Now we come to the render settings. Press the button with the cogwheel on the top of the bar. Under render or select physical. Choose a suitable format and select frame range all frames. At the end we add a black background. That's it, the animation is ready to render. Thank you so much for all the messages from you guys. I'm glad to hear that you like the tutorials. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload one to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.